Loretta? My name's Detective Linsky. I'm with the New York City Police Department. I'm calling about a murder we had down here a couple of weeks ago. Looks like it could be linked to the strangling. Older lady. And she turned up dead in the hotel room. Strangled. The stockings tied around the neck. People from the hotel saw the guy she was with. A couple of nights later, he shows up at the hotel bar, so I pick him up. Find her cigarette case still in his pocket. Well, it took me 45 minutes to get a confession. His name is Paul Dempsey. Lives up in Maine, but I can place him in Boston at the time of the first five murders. Uh, I'm assuming you went to Boston Homicide with this? First call I made. Couldn't get anyone to call me back. A couple of weeks go by, so I make the trip up there myself, figure I'll just tell him in person. Couldn't get anyone to meet with me. Can you believe that? Detective Joe, four hours for homicide I'm working. I'd walk out of my kid's christening for that. I don't know what the hell they're doing up there. I need to say goodbye to one of our favorite sons. Jacopo, Jackie, Della Pietro. I'm Monsignor Monorici of the Church of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the church that Jackie was so active in all of his life. He went to church? I've known Jackie since he was a little boy, and, well, I would be lying if I said we didn't find a need to keep a tight lock on the old wine. Mm -hmm. Many a morning, we found that the blood of Christ had been replaced with Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I'll bet it was him. Lots of little stories about Jackie I could share. But I think I'm going to turn the podium over to someone who's very special to him. Someone he always referred to as one of his closest friends. Susie? Front page. Fifth article this month by this guy shitting on the police. He's stirring things up. And it's not just the fruits. Regular people starting to talk. No offense. So, what do we care? We're not the police. Yeah, but some of the police are with us. And now some of our friends have asked us to take care of this problem. Quiet things down. Is that really necessary? <laughs> when the boss says it's necessary, then it's fucking necessary. Right. This falls on you. But we don't care how you do it, but no showboat. We don't want anything found. Just uh, disappear this guy. Make sure he's written his last fucking article. Ciao, Bella. Come on, stay. I'm Benno. I'm Benno. Good. Uh, and the ammo. Come on. Please. Sit. Detective Stabler and I are here on business. Something serious. <laughs> what do you need from me? We're working a case uh, involving someone we are all familiar with. Luca Bellucci. It's a bad seed. You in town? When Luca's in town, everyone knows it. So is he in town? Yes. He's here. Any idea where we would find him? His cousin Francesca has a dry cleaning and tailor shop on Broom Street. Mm -hmm. Well, Lucas here, he stays with her. Upstairs apart. But, but Tia. We didn't hear it from you. Grazie mille. Ciao. Marino and I had a falling out a while back. Hired him to take photos of my client's wife in flagrante delecto. Ended up blackmailing the wife for sex. When's the last time you saw him? Two weeks ago. Came by to uh, apologize, said he was making amends for folks he'd wronged in the past. When you were working with him, did any of your cases involve the Hyrule Cartel? I've dealt with some dangerous characters, but never them. You know any of Marino's other business associates? No, but he did mention some guy that was going to make him a very rich man. Say what kind of business? No, but believe me, if it was going to make him rich, sure as hell wasn't legal. If you'll excuse me, I got to... Keep an eye on these two. Please, uh, as junior rep, it's my job to protect your job. CDIU is going to make someone pay, all right? Could be you, or you just let this giant stinking turd kind of roll downhill. You want me to blame Detective Stone? That's not going to happen. She says she heard a gunshot. That's good enough for me. Look, you'll be in GO 16. Do you understand? They catch you lying, you get fired automatically. And ain't nothing the union can do except say sayonara and wave. Goodbye to your sorry ass. Thanks for the advice. All right. I'm saying and warn you, huh? 